The role of a combat designer on God of War 3 is a complex role. It basically has anything to do with characters in the game. Any character you see moving in the game, attacking, fighting, are generally implemented by the combat designer. And then, of course, Kratos. What his platforming elements are going to be, what his new combat moves are going to be, what weapons he's going to use, how he's, how he's going to use them, how he walks, everything. I'm here with uh, Jason McDonald, who's a senior combat designer on God of War 3. And uh, we're just talking about the new features that we have in the game and what we're trying to add to the God of War franchise. Well, we've got some of Kratos' items in. Um, he can grab a head and he could light stuff up. Now that we can play with lighting in God of War 3, we can make the entire room dark, have enemies that are attacking you in the dark, can't be seen. And when you light them up with the head, they light up for a, a limited amount of time so you can attack them while you can see them, but then they are constantly disappearing. You get to parts where it's completely pitch dark and you hear the guys scream in the background. You use the Helios head to you know, find out where they are. The strategy gameplay, the combat side of it turns into you have to keep these guys lit to be able to hit them, otherwise you get screwed and they just destroy you in the dark. Definitely something we couldn't do before just because we didn't have dynamic lighting to the extent that we have it now, so. We got the, the combat grapple in. We tried the grapple stuff in God of War 2, but um, since we were limited on memory and animations and things like that, we just couldn't uh, couldn't do it and couldn't, uh, if we couldn't do it well, then we weren't gonna do it at all, so we just didn't do it. But now, now we have more space, more memory. Kratos is a very strong character, so when he grapples an enemy, he kind of just charges right in and plows through everybody. So the grapple system is exactly like that. You can launch somebody in the air and you grapple them and you plow yourself right into the air, right into them. If there's a crowd of enemies, you'll plow yourself through all of them. All this stuff was set up on, on Jason's um, free time. When he gets a little bit of free time, he, he likes to explore a couple ideas here and there. And, you know, everybody gets inspired different ways so like some of the animators will hang out a little bit after hours and go like hey let's try this move out and we find it's good to do that too because if you we have an idea and everybody's like oh man what, what kind of code is that going to require what kind of animation is that going to require so everybody's worried about the time it's going to take but once you kind of implement it and they see it and it, you know it's more apt to get everybody's attention and they want to actually spend the time to perfect it